Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Fancy Life. So, on this episode, we're going to be switching our life once again, and it's going to go to the carpenter this time. Simply because you deal with wood and crafting furniture, but you can also make wands for the magician class. And since the magician class is my main combat class, I want to be able to produce wands. So, let's change our life. Have you come to change your life? There we go. Weapons and armor of steel and alchemic elixirs. No, yours is more practical craft. What good is a paladin if they have no bed to sleep in? All other crafts rest on the product of your skills, literally. I really love the head uh, bandana. Ta da Congratulations, Kylie. Welcome to the carpenter life. I'm sure you already know this, but the first port of call should be your new master. I've already marked their location on your map, just in case you're not sure where to find them. Now off you go, and best of luck. Okay, so let's go and meet the carpenter master. Or should I say carpentry master? I don't know. <laughs> So, it's in this big building here. This building seems to house the uh, tailor master, carpentry, and it looks like blacksmithing. What's wrong, Woody? Oh well, this person is saying they want to become a carpenter. Well, Woody, there's nothing to panic about. Just do your duty as the carpenter master and show them the ropes. Simple. I'll try. Um, let's see, carpentry. So, carpentry, well... Well, carpentry, so... Woody, calm down. You're going round in circles. Oh, am I? That's no good. Um, so... <laughs> you want to be a carpenter, huh? Want to spend all day going shriek, 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 knock, 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 right? Yes, I can see you do. Uh, you love the smell of wood and new furniture? Don't you? Keep going, Woody! I may not look it, but I'm the uh, carpenter master. Yes, I'm the master, but I... I don't really feel like I am. Uh, I'm all sweaty. I have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, my throat's so dry! Now we want to go through the introductory quests. Woody, shall I fetch you a glass of water? No, no, it's too much. I can't do this, just take this. Makeshift saw. Yes, now all you need is a recipe and you're a carpenter. Okay, so yeah, take over from here. This again? The fledgling carpenter following greatness. Sorry about the master. I really must apologize on his behalf. May I ask who you are? Kylie, is it? I'm Sawyer. Nice to meet you. Woody is a bit on the timid side. Not good at public speaking, you know. But once he picks up a saw, wow, people are funny like that. He's the grandson of the legendary Marimo. Yes, he has the carpentry skills of a true artisan. He just lacks leadership qualities. Being a master is pretty hard for him. But at least you admit it. That's very admirable, I must say, Woody. Where has he run off to? He should really be supervising, but actually he entrusts most of the work to his students. Other pupils couldn't hack it and quit. You'll probably do the same. 
Anyway, Woody gave you a tool, right? Might be a waste of time if you just end up quitting, but I'll teach you a basic recipe anyway. You learn the recipe for Oak Beam! Carpentry is all about beams. That's right, I said beams. Wooden beams. And we get beams from logs. You can buy them at the market. Or you could ask a woodcutter directly. Those chipper folks chop logs in woods and mountains. There's a woodcutter name of Forest. Should be hanging around the woodlands in the east. As your first carpenter task, why not pay him a visit and ask for, for some materials? I'll be setting up the workshop here, ready for materials you bring back, okay? Oh, looks like we have to go and gather materials. Hang on. I thought the uh, ar arrow told us to go left. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, I was being silly. I'm food drunk. I've just had a massive tea. <laughs> massive meal. It's clouded my brain. <laughs> I can't think straight. I'm too full. Yep, yep, I see how it is. So, you wanna have Woody's doobies, are ye? He just went to apply his carpentry pupil, huh? But the master ran out on ye, did he? Am I right? Or am I right? The smell of sawdust on your clothes gives it away. I've changed accent. <laughs> Spend five minutes in that workshop and you'll be smelling of sawdust all day. I'm pretty fond of that sawdust smell. Fresh wood steep. Aha, I see. It's oak logs you're after, is it? Here you go. Take these. Yes! Two oak logs. No need to thank me. Woodcutters and carpenters gotta work together. If you need any more materials, there should be plenty in that there forest. Just help yourself. Oh, by the way. Yeah, don't really believe I can tell everything about you just by the smell of sawdust on your duds, do ye? Haha. <laughs> Well, never mind. Just do your best. Become a great sawdust scented carpenter. Could probably just use the uh, map and um, fast travel back to my uh, life master, but I want to use the dash ability, so when I can. Plus it's not really far to walk anyway. Ah, uh, welcome back. Did you get some locks? How was Forrest? What? He knew everything about you just from the smell of sawdust on your clothes? I never knew, never knew Forrest could do that. Well, never mind that now. It's time I taught you how to use that tool. And that's how it's done. Now to put it into practice. Stand in front of the workbench to do carpentry. Approach the workbench and choose a recipe. As you repeat the same recipe, you will become able to make multiples of an item and eventually make items automatically. Utilise the three types of carpentry work to reach 100% completion within the time limit. Finishing a project quickly will get you more items or items of better quality, run out of time and you'll fail. And use the directional buttons. So it's the same controls as with tailoring and alchemy. Don't worry if you're a bit nervous, everyone was a beginner once. Let's try making an oak beam first. Don't forget to equip your saw. 
Okay, so I should equip my saw first of all. Oak beam. Hundred percent. Pretty good, huh? Making beams out of log logs is a carpenter's bread and butter. You can use beams to make other things or go ahead and sell them at the marketplace. Naturally, beams cut from high quality trees will sell for more dosh. The more you improve, the more dosh you can rake in. It's a life that really pays off. Right, time to report to Woody. Woody? Yeah, he's not there, here. Hmm, that's not good. The master's supposed to do this bit. You're supposed to be given a challenge by the master to qualify as a fledgling carpenter. I think it would be best if you went to Woody's house to look for him. I have to keep an eye on the machines and stuff, so I can't go with you, I'm afraid. Woody's house is in the middle of the artisan's district, near the well southeast of here. Okay, so head over to Woody's time. Oh, I've gone the wrong way again. I keep looking at the blue arrow for some reason. Sorry. The red arrow, Kylie. The red one. Okay, guys. Well, now seems like a good, a good time to stop this episode here. And on the next episode, we shall continue on with our fledgling carpentry uh, tutorial, basically. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share the video, guys. Remember, engagement is important on this series to keep it going. And as always, thank you for watching.